Hey guys, here is Dimitri Wakov with the 12th episode of MindShift. The purpose of my video series MindShift is to bring us people who can empower our attitude in an area or topic where their superpower lies. I'm super excited to announce today's MindShifter. Her name is Kathy Perez and she is um, she's life enthusiast. She is a content creator. She is a community builder, and uh, she really loves life. I think that's the most important for me. And she's going to talk about the power of enthusiasm. I'm so excited to announce her. So, welcome, Kathy. Uh, and tell me, did I miss something of what I said about you? First, thank you so much for a wonderful welcome. Uh, it's my first time joining and you know an event like this. We should say event or, <laughs> but yeah. Um, well, maybe what I wanted to add is that um, I say that I'm a life enthusiast and and uh, this year life has given uh, more responsibilities to me yeah. and uh, I uh, have a baby boy. Um, he's Whoa. now three months. So that's wow. probably what I wanted to add. Um, yeah. And I asked myself last night while I was preparing and I was like, am I still a life enthusiast after giving birth, you know, and having a child and being so... Um, spending a lot of time, you know, getting to know the child, taking care of the child. And actually I realized that, yes, I am. And I became more, like, I don't know, I expanded uh, the enthusiasm wow. about life. And yeah, that's uh, one thing I could tell about me and also that I'm from the Philippines and I moved yeah. to Denmark in December, 2015. No, sorry, in 2015, that was uh, around July, 2015. Okay. So it's been uh, a while here in Denmark and I speak Danish a bit. <laughs> <laughs> wow that congratulations for that actually and congratulations <laughs> for the child also i mean yeah, this Thank is an amazing you. thing i mean uh what is actually just i wanted to ask you that what is the thing which happened can you name the thing which happened which made you even more enthusiastic about life after you gave the birth of your child yeah i, I think uh, one of the things um it was just my notion when I was, uh, you know, while I was pregnant and I said to myself, yeah, when I see my child for the first time, it would be a wonderful feeling. And I expected that I would have all the love in the world uh, to this child when I see him for the first time. When yeah. I saw him the first time, I was emotional and, and also overwhelmed. I was like, oh, like, you know, there's a one child that I have to take care of. And of course there's love. But I think one thing that really was, um, overwhelming was that every day I see him growing and I also felt like the love that I have for him is growing and wow. it's really something that uh, I didn't nobody told me before or nobody has yeah. maybe there was I don't know now the child is crying but no <laughs> <laughs> well, he's his father but with his fa he's with his father now but the yeah. thing is like it's really growing and expanding and and uh, th that's something that gave gave me more enthusiasm and but also looking into the future and how he would grow up and what kind of life he would have and what kind of life I would like him to have so um but one thing is that I want him to be enthusiastic about life because mm -hmm. if you have this quality it really makes life easier and it really makes life more worth living Mm -hmm. And uh, and there are many things that other other people, you know, people who complain a lot, people who are very negative, and sometimes I just like, you know, like want to tell them, you know, you just need enthusiasm, and uh, but maybe it's difficult for this. It's different for everyone, but yeah. definitely one one thing I want him to have is that to be enthusiastic about life. I love really love that, and I can re definitely say confidently that you are one of the most enthusiastic person I know I have seen in my life. Thank so, you. Um, Tell me what it is, what, can you describe me, can you give some definition of what is enthusiasm, I mean, in a way? Yeah, I, uh, well, you know, in the modern times, they always say, oh, enthusiasm is the, you know, having big interest in a subject or activity. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at the real meaning of enthusiasm, it actually came from the Greek word, it's a Greek word, enthus which means possessed by God. Wow. Um, because those, the word T-H-O-U-S, it means God. And okay. enthusiasm, or oh, enthus, possessed by God. So it's actually, um, it has a very interesting uh, origin. 
um, wow. when you say possessed by God, but also yeah. um, if you look at it from the perspective of that culture, like all, you know, in Greek, uh, well, uh, during their times, yeah. uh, when you say possessed by God, that means you are filled with life, um, filled mm. with um, motivation to do something, yeah. um, maybe filled with joy and also uh, this um, ability to sacrifice, but you know, when people say sacrifice, they always think, oh, it's hard. But the ability to sacrifice with joy. Um, and that is, you know, God within, possessed by God. And now in the modern times, we just say, oh, when someone is so involved into something, then that person is enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. So, um, but wow. that is the, the original enthusiasm. Yeah, wow, that sounds really, uh, really big. I mean, I haven't thought about it in general. So, I mean, that's really different uh, way of seeing it. Um, so tell me, um, wh what is the power of it? I mean, if you say the power of enthusiasm, what makes it powerful to be enthusiastic? Yeah, um, so we go back to the origin um, yeah. of enthusiasm, the word enthus, which means possessed by God. Mm -hmm. And uh, just my own way of uh, looking at it, um, when you say enthusiasm, when a person is enthusiastic, just for example, you see there is a you know, energy to do something. Mm. There is motivation to do something. Um, there is this gusto, you know, this, uh, mm. this wonderful um, feeling to do something. Mm. Um, and the thing is, when you say enthusiasm, it, as I mentioned a little bit, that it makes life worth living. Um, there is life into it. There is joy into it. Mm. Um, and that makes it special. That makes the word enthusiasm or the action or the doing being enthusiastic into something extra special and i think that a lot of people uh, they well for me also i didn't when i say i'm a life enthusiast and what that's what i write in on my linkedin um, i i asked myself several times like um what does it mean to be a life enthusiast and uh what i realized is that is that when people say oh you're so enthusiastic into something and um, that also means that i am enthusiastic even though the things are hard um, right now when people are losing jobs or right now when um, things are difficult you can't meet people um, you feel isolated uh, but that also means being enthusiastic even though there are difficulties uh, and that is something that's hard to to you know to do uh, when yeah. things are difficult and you're still enthusiastic how do you, how do, do, you that? do that how do you do that it's a good question well, it's a good question and i was but i was about to ask you but for me no. um yeah. because it's not really about the circumstances around you it's really about your relationship with yourself okay. it's really about who you think you are or who um you know who what you have within you and as I always said to other people, um, when they say, how, how could you be motivated or how could you be so enthusi enthusiastic in doing something? And I told them, you know, when you're doing something, some people are going to question what you're doing. Mm. Some people are going to say, why are you doing that? Or you're spending a lot of time doing that. Like, or when you're starting a startup or creating events and people were like saying, uh, it's a waste of time or like no um you're losing all your energy there or your finances and it's not good like, they, they would tell you all these things but i said to them that you know if you're enthusiastic if you're motivated to do it it doesn't matter what people say it's a, it's a matter of what you feel inside you mm. have to have a bigger yes within mm. you to do something you have to have that and you know you have to hold on to that because sometimes it's a, it could be annoying to when you listen to other people like being so negative about what you do, but if you have to look into yourself and have the inner yes to mm -hmm. do something, to be enthusiastic about uh, something, and and go for it. And you know, if uh, it it could be a failure or it could be a success, but um, it's you. It's what you do, and in the end, you have yourself. You are responsible for what you're doing. So. Um, that's why I say, how could you be too enthusiastic? <laughs> enthusiastic? It's because you have the inner yes. I love this one. I mean, I love about the inner yes. 
think and definitely agree on that. I mean, definitely that's 100% sure uh, that you cannot expect the outside people or outside events or circumstances to bring you that. They can help you sometimes. They can motivate yes. you in a way. Yes. But it's not about that. It's definitely inside. So tell me, uh, did you always have this inner yes inside or something happened in your life which which helped you to start see life more in the bright, on the bright side? Yeah, uh, well, I think growing up in the Philippines, mm -hmm. um, and of course, I don't have that inner yes all the time, or mm -hmm. even before I, I have doubts, and until now, you know, it comes once in a while. I'm human. It's like well, we are no. all human, and we have these inner doubts. We feel, uh, what is it, uh, discouraged, and uh, we question our decisions, we question ourselves, even we question, like, um, our life, but uh, I think growing up in the Philippines, where um, a lot of things, so it's a okay. Let me just say that it's a generally a country that's a third world, and, and now it's a developing. Well, it's been better than before, but uh, seeing that um, we are generally people who survives, we we don't look at the negative part of things. We kind of like. This is just in general, the Filipinos I know. We mm. kind of look at the positive side of things. And maybe yeah. because uh, as a culture, we are so, we were colonized and uh, um, we have had presidents that are corrupt and officials that are corrupt. But then we, yeah, and it's true and it's happening until now. Um, but then, um, and then we were like, okay, we can kind of train ourselves to look at the positive side of things. And also, uh, generally, if you meet Filipinos, you would know that Filipinos are joyful people. So I think yeah. that's a, that's why it's a, it has become a part of me, like being um, enthusiastic or looking at the positive side of things. Um, and uh, well, as a person, my story has always been about um, I love I love watching people succeed and I love mm. watching movies that are about success and I also love encouraging others so I, I think personally um, I have that because um, it's an attitude that I've trained myself to to have um, it doesn't it, it's not easy um, there were years where I felt like I was so low um, and I um, experienced like you know self-doubts but um, in the end, uh, having the habit of, uh, of uh, creating circumstances, circumstances where it gives me joy, like reading books, watching movies that are um, that would give motivation, or being around people who are enthusiastic, being around positive people, um, it helps me a lot. Uh, it's it's uh, it's not that it's it would just come to me or it would just come to anyone. No, it's something that you have to train, and also a decision you have to make. You might have uh, friends around you that are very negative, and at some point you say to yourself, "No, I can't be with this relationship anymore, because I have to move on and find a positive po positive people to be around me." So um, there are decisions you have to make. It's not easy, but you have to decide to be enthusiastic. Wow. No, wow, that's that's Kathy. Thank you, honestly. Thank you for sharing this perspective because. I think this is it will create a big shift for people in regards of that because a lot of people believe that enthusiasm is given, that people are just born with enthusiasm. But what, what you described right now is how you actually train enthusiasm for yourself. How can you actually do it even though you live, and you said it very well, Filipinos. I have met many Filipinos in, 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 in Denmark. There are a lot of them, I think. Uh, and uh, Definitely, I see the positive vibe in these people. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I'm just going to give you a big, um, um, I say, comparison with Bulgarian people, for example. We also have a lot of uh, people, uh, you know, uh, not very good things in the country which are happening, a lot of corruption and stuff. But people are very negative there. So I think you see the same situation, but two different approaches. And, yeah. and mm, you know yeah. you know it's it's not about you you made a choice i don't know maybe not you uh, no i mean the, as a culture as a people you made a choice and do you think this is coming just from the community itself or is something connected with the philosophy of 
in their own religion. I don't know, just, just something which I put out there, which is yeah. maybe helping. Do you think this is helping? Uh, well, I think it's, uh, it's really about uh, uh, how you decide. Well, I, I also, how you decide if, if you want to be enthusiastic or not, it's really a decision. But I yeah. also, it, it is um, very important to be in a culture or be surrounded mm. with people who are doing the same because it's really difficult if you are trying to be very enthusiastic and you're surrounded with negative people. Um, but at some point, you really have to like, decide, as I've mentioned. But um, it helps that you see other people being uh, being enthusiastic. Um, yeah, I think that that is a I don't know like a, that's what I know for sure that uh, I, oh no, that's what I know at least that yeah. um, it helps. Uh, I actually uh, was I was reading um, about enthusiasm because I wanna like okay I wanna prepare for Demi's uh, yeah. <laughs> program. <laughs> And, yeah. uh, and one thing that is, um, that uh, stuck was that uh, one person mentioned that enthusiasm means your soul in action. Whoa. Soul in action. And I was like, wow, soul in action, that's pretty big. And so I was yeah. thinking about it and I was like, hmm, yeah, because it's actually, it's like a, when you have enthusiasm, it kind of fans the flame. If you are very, um, like, if you have if you're into something if you're doing something and then you're enthusiastic about it it's really helping a lot while when you are doing something and you're not enthusiastic it's not really gonna gonna no. like you know you're gonna be stuck or at some point you're gonna be like oh i'm so tired of this work why am i doing this you're gonna question yourself so it's a uh, soul in action it's a uh, fanning the flame and giving more energy to what you're doing um, it's it's absolutely true. I mean, Kati, it's uh, it's amazing, and uh, it's it's a very good way to describe it, both on the side of uh, you know in general what it means, but also how you can make a decision to make it more in your life. How to how to actually make the decision to empower your enthusiasm in a way. Uh, mm. Give me, can you give me um, something interesting? Uh, is, is interested me uh, when you, in this moment when you. You go in doubt or in a negative mood or or do you do something specific which takes you out of it that's is it because as you said you are going through of course we're human beings you're human being you go there uh do you do something specific to go out of there do you have yeah. some ritual or something oh what i, I do generally is uh, like for example when you're in like for, uh, just an example like there are a lot of people who are jobless at the moment or because they lost their job because of the uh, the crisis that we're uh, we're experiencing right now and um people tend to think that oh i am jobless and they think that they are jobless forever mm. and the shift should be that you are jobless now but that doesn't mean you're gonna be jobless forever unless you wanted to decide to be you know in that situation unless you decide okay uh, I'm just not gonna do anything about it but um, the thing is when you're experiencing something now don't think that you're gonna have it forever but mm. it also requires your decision to do something so you're gonna be out of it yes um, so Maybe you engage in activities that would help you. Um, you could have a vision board. I sometimes do um, this uh, event where we do vision yeah. board uh, for the year. So you have your vision and then you say, okay, what are the steps that I should do to be from A to, to, to B? So if you have a vision to, be, uh, to own a um, startup that's successful, then you plan. You, know, you plan what to do, A, B, C, what should I do? And also important to surround yourself with people who would support you. Not everyone would support you, but surround yourself with people who would motivate you. And one thing as well is to be thankful. When you're experiencing a small successes, be thankful and focus on that. Instead of focusing so much on like, oh, I am not, I don't have a job. But maybe one day you have a coffee meeting with someone who's very interesting. Um, maybe it could lead you into a job. Then be thankful. Like, in small steps, be thankful. That Lovely. So wow. I mean, I got really enthusiastic about life. Yes. <laughs> Maybe you should have. That's good to know. Really, <laughs> yes. Uh, no, you have, you, have a, you have a gift. I just wanted to say it. I'm not sure. People, I'm sure people will see it also, but you have a gift. So you need to really cherish this gift. Um, do you think that enthusiasm and motivation is the same or motivation is part of enthusiasm? How is 
how is the relation between them? Um, well, motivation, most of the time I look at motivation as an outer source. Like you're motivated by other people, mm. you're motivated by the job you do. Um, I think enthusiasm is more of an inner working where you say yes and the, you do do it as a, someone mentioned, it's a soul in action. Mm. Um, um, and it, it, it is like a, something that no one could take away from you, something that you have in yourself. And also it's something that you have to nurture and harness because uh, mm. it's, uh, you could be in a situation where you just lost all your enthusiasm because you're surrounded by a boss who doesn't believe in you, friends who doesn't believe in you. So, but it's an inner working. Um, but in, in some way, actually, motivation and enthusiasm, they, there's a very thin line between them. And, uh, and, and sometimes you could use it, you know, as the same, like almost the same. Um, in, yeah, the meaning is almost the same. They can help each other, but sometimes they are not exactly the same. So enthusiasm, yeah, yeah definitely that's true. Exactly. So that is it? Thank you for helping me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I mean, it's, it's really uh, lovely to talk to you. It's, uh, what, tell me, is there some, I mean, you said you talk about some books and videos and things you do in order to help you to be more enthusiastic. Do you have a favorite book which you said this is the most enthusiastic book in the world and people should read it? Oh, that's a, a good question um, because I have, uh, I have different, uh, well, I, I love motivational books. I love mo um, writers that are talking about leadership. Mm. Uh, I've been following, uh, maybe just recently, um, I read a, a book of uh, Michelle Obama, Becoming. Okay. Um, and then also I love Brene Brown. Um, she, I mean, she's talking about vulnerability and um, these are the women that I follow and uh, and also um, if you know someone named Jim Ron yes yeah, yeah. Um, I know him and uh, Tony Robbins yeah um, yeah and also I love the enthusiasm of Gary V uh, yeah I follow him on LinkedIn so these are the people that I follow but now I couldn't think of a specific book that okay. I could tell, um, yeah, it's a, maybe the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, because it's a, it's a book that it's not about, it's not really about finances, but it's about the thinking, you know, um, a lot of people, we have a poor thinking habits. We just, we just tell ourselves like, okay, um, I'm here and I'm going to be here forever. Uh, but Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, it's really about having this um, um, good relationship towards yourself and towards money and towards success. And um, I like, I like, I've been reading that for, I don't know, um, a couple of months and I stopped, but I stopped because I got busy with the baby. But uh, I really like uh, what he was saying in his book. And it's a, a classic because... It, yeah, it's a. Um, it's been I don't know when was it produced like eighteen hundreds or nineteen I don't know when, but uh, yeah. I love that book, Napoleon Hill. It's an amazing book. I have it also here. It's uh, it's one of the you could say must read for personal growth and personal development and personal development. Yeah, yeah definitely, it's one of these books. And uh, thank you for sharing all the other people who you follow because I'm sure that. Um, people can really relate to that and maybe they can read some of them because as you said, whatever you put in your mind, it, uh, in a way it goes out after that. It just, you create yourself in this way, right? You create your mindset. Yes. And, exactly. uh, and in your case, I can say that this really works because, uh, I've seen so many, I mean, the, just, I, I forgot actually to tell to people that you created this uh, LinkedIn local community. Yes. here in Aarhus and yeah. actually you started from nothing and you created something really beautiful and big and place yeah. where people really looking forward to go yeah. um, and do you think that the power of enthusiasm gave you this uh, strength to do it yeah exactly well it's enthusiasm because um, it's funny because when I started the event and I continued doing it people were asking me um, do you get money from it yeah. It's like, no, I don't, but I get so happy doing it. And mm -hmm. I get to meet people when I, while I'm doing it. And I get to have community because I'm doing it. 
some people they they think all about money that oh do you get money when you're doing it but it's it's not just that it's about um what you have in your life um without linkedin loca i don't think i would have as uh, many people that i know um or i don't think i would have this community in ohus where i could just send a message and say oh okay do you know how how could i do this and people would be helping me out um but it, it's not just about money it's about really um doing what you love to do and i always tell uh, tell people about this that you know like do what makes your heart sing like put oh. joy in your life and it's one of the things that i have i, I love doing it it makes my heart sing doing a link in local office that's why i'm doing it <laughs> yeah 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 absolutely absolutely katya i totally agree with you um before we go i just wanted to ask you a question one question which uh Um I kind of always ask at the end of the interview with everyone who came here. So tell us there is just one small thing one small thing which people can do today and they can become a little bit more enthusiastic. They can start the journey of enthusiasm. Yeah. Be thankful. Okay. I think one small thing that you do um today is to be thankful and i've always believed that the more you are thankful about what you have in more in your life the more there is in life you will be thankful for so be thankful be thankful like just be just say standing up in the morning and say oh um i have food on my table or oh there's sunshine outside but today it's been raining in denmark no. there's sunshine outside be thankful about that focus on the things that you are thankful for and um it would definitely make you more enthusiastic thank you very much the power of gratitude is really amazing and uh definitely um definitely can help people so people whoever is there whoever is listening just start, just first become thankful to whatever it's in your yeah. life because everything which is coming in your life is for a reason it helps you grow and become more of what you want to be right so yep, um exactly yeah so uh before we go tell us where do people can find you for example if they want to ask you about linkedin local or they want to ask you about some event management or whatever yes uh, where where do you think is the most appropriate people can contact you people can contact me through linkedin um and i well right now i'm not very active on linkedin but yep. i check it every day and um mm. people can send me message in there so please find me on linkedin it's a uh, kathy paris tolkine Yeah. And and also if they like uh, on Facebook uh, LinkedIn local page LinkedIn local mm-hmm. Aarhus page yeah. I also um, respond to people in there so they could yeah. find me in um, those two platforms Exactly and do you have something you need right now from the community from the world which they can really approach you about or help you or whatever Well uh b- maybe about enthusiasm that's a uh, yeah. one thing like how if they need um, some motivation like uh, yeah. if they're experiencing something um like they think is difficult and they need someone's perspective maybe i could uh, re- reach out to me and i yeah. would uh, make time for you yeah. and um also if they wanted to know more about um, creating events right now it's uh, we're limited we can't be doing a lot of events but in the future if they wanted to create events it would create community or maybe just about anything like job searching um or how to be more inspired to do something please reach out and uh, i i don't bite i'm uh, because people may might think oh you, you know uh, she's strict or she at least people think i look strict but no i don't bite uh, go ahead send me a message i'm fine lovely thank you very much kati you are amazing <laughs> you're you. sunshine thank you for that and um uh, really looking forward to attend or see some of your next events and stuff you do yes uh, and uh, yeah so guys uh, i hope and i'm absolutely sure that uh, kati brought you so much uh, enthusiasm and i, I hope, hope today you can start with doing more things and be motivated for life and uh, yeah have a great week and uh, talk to you next time bye 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 bye